Hey friends, it's Megan Steer with What's Happening New York, and we are here at the Stewart Air National Guard Base in Newburgh, New York. And in a few moments, we're gonna meet the Thunderbirds, the official demonstration team of the US Air Force. They represent the pride, professionalism, and dedication of our American Airmen. When did you join the Air Force? What inspired you to join? Okay, so I joined the Air Force in 2008 when I commissioned from ROTC at the University of Southern California. Uh, I always knew that I wanted to fly, and then after September 11th, uh, I knew I wanted to be in the military, so I kind of combined uh, those, merged them. Uh, never thought I could be a fighter pilot, but it, you know, I went to Thunderbird shows, air, air shows when I was growing up, and saw them. And I guess I got hooked, got hooked on the idea, and I don't know when to stop. Like that became uh, my passion, and uh, to be able to serve and also to represent the uh, airmen, the Air Force, it's like the perfect job. So I'm pretty happy. So you said representing this group. Tell me a little yeah. bit about the Thunderbirds. Yeah. What does it stand for? Who are you guys? Okay, so the Thunderbirds, our job is to show off the pride and precision of the Air Force. So to do that both in the air and on the ground. So in the air, you see our precise maneuvering, the loud jet noises that we make that simulate uh, what we're doing in combat day in and day out with the F-16, uh, and then also see the professionalism on the ground during the show. Uh, so our guys are putting on a ground show as well. They're making sure that these jets look top notch uh, and are ready to fly the day of. Uh, so we've got a lot going on both in the air and on the ground to show off what the 660,000 airmen are doing every single day for your Air Force. Fantastic. So what's your personal favorite part while you're, is it what you're doing the show before? What's your favorite part? Of favorite I've got part? a lot of favorite parts. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, each of them has a, a different feeling that it comes with, so the flying is a challenge. Uh, I sweat a lot, uh, I'm thinking a lot, and using a lot of hand-to-eye, uh, so that creates a nice little challenge for me. But it, and it's also fun at the end of the day to go and see the people that it inspires, uh, one that we make them uh, emotional, patriotic, uh, especially this week, remembering September 11th, uh, and also we scare them a little bit uh, in fun ways, so uh, that might be the best part of the day, is when at the end of the day we shut the engines down and go uh, meet the people in the crowd and say hi to them. Tell me a little bit about how many pilots there are that are part of the team yep. and what that looks like. So on the team we have eight pilots. Six of them are demonstration pilots and then number seven and eight uh, will advance and also help set up the show and also monitor our show from the ground. Uh, and then some of the media flyers get to fly with them. So I don't know if you guys are <laughs> flying but we'll throw you in the back seats. We've got about one per show site. We'll throw in a local media or a hometown hero, someone who uh, works in the fire department, uh, a, a teacher who's recognized from the school district, uh, and people such as that. So that's a pretty cool part of the, the job as well. Uh, we also have uh, four other officers who are support officers, and then also 120 other people on the team. Wow. So about 130, 135 people uh, on the team that make up the mission uh, to move in uh, and move out of these air show places and sites to make sure the mission is done well in front of a large group of people. Who was your like pilot hero growing up? Did you have one? Oh man, uh, I would have to say uh, I always looked up to my grandfather. He was a F4U Corsair pilot for the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Uh, so that was his thing. He was an old fighter pilot and had old stories for me and I always looked up to him and thought there's no way that I could do that. And like I said, uh, like I tell younger kids who go to air shows, you see that, uh, that person who inspires you and you say, hey, what can I do to be like them? Uh, and then you kind of lay out the chart your own map uh, and then you find yourself doing the same job that my grandfather did. So he was my inspiration. And last question, so yep. this may seem a little silly, but do you still get butterflies before every show, or how does that go? I will say, before each show, like this weekend, we'll be out in front of the crowd right before we start up, and people will be watching us, uh, and you see how many people are watching you. Uh, at first, that was, uh, it created a little bit of butterflies. Each show site is different, uh, but as you get more uncomfortable with it, uh, we are a very safe show. Uh, we practice hundreds of times, uh, and so I, I don't really get butterflies anymore. I just get butterflies to to think about uh, inspiring and make sure people are having a good time and seeing what we want them to see. So I just don't want to screw anything up. That's Absolutely. the only thing that makes me nervous. So. Absolutely. Hey, I'm Major Matt Kimmel, Thunderbird 6, the opposing solo for the United States Air Force Thunderbirds, and you're watching What's Happening in New York.